Shibanka, it's lovely to see you again. And of course, I'm sure you've been anticipating this week for quite some time. How do you feel knowing this is now here, the Hero Indian Open? I'm very excited. First of all, uh, the Indian Open's coming back after four years to DLF, to a course which is very special to me. Um, this is where I started when I, when I just turned pro. So I spent a lot of time here, a lot of good memories here with juniors. Uh, we were all juniors back then. Um, so, yeah, I'm very excited. All the Indian professionals are excited and the course is in immaculate shape. So it's going to be a good championship. Four years is a long time. What does it mean to you and the rest of the, the Indian players to have the tour finally stop back here in India? It means a lot. I think it's... I obviously have been playing on the European tour now for four years, the BP World Tour now for four years, but there are quite a few players. For them, it's their first experience of proper international golf. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's great for them and they are all very excited. A lot of the people who turned pro in these past four years, this is their first Indian Open. So Course is looking beautiful. Give us a refresh. It's been four years since we've had it uh, televised. Has it changed in your eyes at all since 2019? It has quite a lot. It's matured quite a lot now. Uh, the trees have grown, the fescue is, has grown, the, the rough is thick, the greens are more receptive. Uh, all in all, the course is in much better shape than it was in 2019, so um, it's, it's going to be a great tournament, like I said. There's been, oddly enough, a lot of controversy about the bunkers here at the DLF. Some people loving them, some people hating them. Your, your opinions for Just us, Just stay please. out of them. That's, that's, my, <laughs> that's the opinion that I have. Uh, but they are very well placed, the bunkers, I'd say. They have high walls, but some of the places where there are high walls and the bunkers are, you know, you'd have to hit quite a bad shot to be there as well. Um, so, I quite like the design. I think it's 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 a very fair test. It's a great test, and there are, you know, there have been low scores back back in 2019 and even before that. Uh, so there is a way that you can score here. You just have to be patient and pick pick the spots. It's not one of those courses where you just stand and bang a driver. You have to think for 18 holes, and. I think everyone should be up for that challenge. Lastly, tell us about your confidence coming into this week. I know you started the season great with that top 10 in Abu Dhabi. How are you feeling? How's the golf? I'm feeling good. Uh, I've been playing really well. Um, uh, Abu Dhabi obviously was great, which all obviously helps when you start start off well in a Rolex Series event. Um, but yeah, this I kind of bookmarked this event in my calendar when, when I saw the calendar. So this is a special event. The game's feeling good. I just have to go out there and express myself now and we'll see what happens on Sunday. Wish you the best of luck this week. Thank you.